Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice. And I was recently drawn to a problematic passage in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter uh, 32, verse 36, when it's talking about the uh, power of the enemies of the Jewish people, the enemies of Israel, uh, grown to the point where they're apparently uh, unassailable. The enemies seem uh, like they cannot be beaten, that we're doomed. The Talmud in Masech the Sanhedrin 96a, in that page, Chazal, our sages, um, derive from this verse that Mashiach, the Messiah, uh, will not come until all of the Jewish people have basically given up, um, given up all hope for salvation. Now, uh, and specifically, um, that the Moshiach will not arrive until that point, until the Jewish people have given up all hope. And uh, when things get to that point, that's when the Creator the Creator will step in. That's when Hashem will come in, when we've given up hope. Now, I find this a bit of a problem uh, for a couple of reasons, but one of the reasons is it seems unlikely that the advent of Moshiach and, and God stepping in won't come until we basically violate one of the 13 principles of faith, which is belief in the coming of Messiah. So when we stop believing, then God will come in. I've got a, I've got a problem with that. Um, it was Harav Yaakov um, Kamenetsky who gave, uh, who gave response to, to, this, uh, to this question. He interprets Chazal's statement that God won't come in until we... Uh, We've given up hope of salvation, given up hope in the Mashiach. He interprets this to mean that God will come, the Mashiach will come, when we have given up on relying on others to save us, on relying on, on foreign powers and, and other people to come and rescue us when we should be um, looking to help from God, from uh, from the, the Creator, our mistake has always been in putting trust uh, in other people and in governments, in man instead of uh, Hashem. And this is an error that we've repeated uh, throughout our histories. There are very, there's a one in particular, a very disturbing uh, passage in the book of Ezekiel, where Ezekiel uh, derides the, the Jewish people for putting trust in foreign armies, specifically the uh, uh, Egypt, the cavalries of Egypt, and there's images of, uh, I won't get into it, of, of the Jewish people basically lusting after these, uh, these horses, and uh, it's, it's a rather disturbing passage to read, but the purpose is to disturb people. The purpose is to revolt you and just make you sick, and because that's, this is what it is. You're, instead of trusting God, you're trusting in, uh, in other people, and um, in other nations and foreign countries. Um, we must be, we must have faith in ourselves to trust ourselves because only we can help ourselves to, uh, to save it. Who else is gonna save us? We have to save ourselves by believing in ourselves, not putting our trust in others, but putting our faith uh, in God because true deliverance only comes from the Creator. True deliverance only comes uh, for, uh, from Hashem. That is why Rav Kavanyevsky uh, says that uh, after uh, Hashem sent Moses to Pharaoh, let my people go, that's when Hashem hardened Pharaoh's heart because he wanted to show the Jewish people that they can't hope in, in Pharaoh's mercy to save them or, or anyone else. He wanted things to look bleak 
and so they, they have no resort but to turn to him. And um, again, here we have a, a situation where uh, things have to look hopeless. Not that we should give up hope altogether. We should give up our hope in others and turn to our true help, our true assistance, our true uh, saving power, which is uh, Hashem. Um, let's hope that the time has finally arrived for us to acknowledge that it is only our Father in Heaven who can and will save the Jewish people, who will redeem us. Um, we will be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.